Okay, this is my solar pool heater I built. In every corner, I've got aluminum cans. See if you can see them there. I've got them in every single corner. Total of 215 aluminum cans that I drilled the tops out and the bottoms out of to make the heat vortex through the cans to build more heat up in my box. And the plastic that's over it is four pieces of two foot by eight foot Lexan plastic, which has been silicone and screwed on every seam. And then on the ends, you see I've siliconed the edges too. And then on the ends, I've got the, these are filled with the um, some rubber strips that are made that shape. You can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot. <clears throat> and then here's my inlet right here, which I've got screwed to the back of the board right here. It's going into the pool. I'm running off just a little, little pump right there, some typical pumps. And then it's coming out right here, back into the pool. And that's pretty hot. That's, oh man, I, I don't even know the temperature of that, but I know that there's the outlet right there. And I could shut it off if I want to, but I, I never do. So, but I can tell you, the temperature in the box is right here. Almost 150 degrees right now. Okay. <clears throat> I've also got it on these studs in the ground so I can move it to the sun. So I can tilt it to whatever part of the day the sun is at. And then the tubing the water is going through is PEX. I used rolls of PEX tubed and it's elevated with one by one by ones. Got it elevated an inch off of the platform. So the cans shoot the heat, more heat, and they just shoot it underneath of it and totally bakes. But you can see where I coiled it. And I did nail it on every one by with pex nails. So that, that way when it sags a little, at least it doesn't come out of proportion all over the and it will too if you don't nail it. It'll just all fall, sink, sag and everything. Um, I'll show you the bottom of it. See, it's just plywood. I built it with uh, OSB, cheapest, so I could go the cheapest route. And I painted all the OSB white, I mean the bottom white, and then everything everything else I painted black. So, but there it is. That is a massive eight foot by eight foot solar pool heater built with PEX, two by fours and one by ones. The one by one and plywood, like saying aluminum cans, um, Pex nails and I screwed the whole frame together with, with hex screws. So the frame is two by fours all the way around the edge and then the OSB on the bottom nailed to the two by fours and then the inside has got a one by one going to the center. One by one going that way, one by one going that way a one by one going that way and then the middle is a two by four two by four going all the way across in the center so the one by ones they come from the corners and go all the way to the center to the two by four so and then what i've got it hinged with is just a bolt you can see that there's a bolt going through the two by four into it 
and then sometimes it comes loose you just take your ratchet and tighten it up a little bit which is what I just now did and it makes that squeaking noise that, that means it's really tight but yeah I'm getting my pool it's pretty warm it's probably 98 degrees right now in my pool um, the heat in the box is well you do the math it's almost 150 degrees in the box so anyway it's right at high high noon right now so anyway um wish i could have showed you the progress of building it as i was building it but that's one massive heater there thanks for looking bye